Hi guys, I'm just going to get everything set up and make sure that you can all hear me. Not look here. There we go. You can all hear me. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. It is 7.30 at night here tonight. And I am going to review the Castle Arts 3D fabric paints. Um, I have not been paid or sponsored to do this video. So just to let you know, I may actually put it in my description box down below. And that will give you a link to the Amazon um, affiliate links. If you choose to buy them, I may get um, a kickback for you buying them. So these are the paints that we're going to be doing. These are the Castle Arts 24 pack of paints. And I'm just going to open this up here. Inside the box is this lovely fabric paints tutorial. It gives you a five easy stages and how to use these Castle Arts fabric paints. It's a nice little booklet here. It also gives you a booklet for all the other things that they do, as well as the color system for the Castle Arts paints. It's kind of cool. Inside the box are these lovely colours and they do give you some paint brushes. I'm going to try and use these and see what they were like. I know this particular brush was actually pushed all the way in and I had to pull the bristles out to see how it's flimsy. So they're not, not good quality, these paint brushes, but they've thrown them in there. So I'm going to use these. They're kind of like a soft brush. They're not... They're not hard, so I might use some of my own brushes. I'll see as we go on how these fare. And this is the bottle size, and they can be used as 3D fabric paint. So you can take the lid off and you can use them straight on as it comes out of the actual tube, or you can can take this off. Oh no, you can't. You will have to squirt it into a palette. There's no ability to take this lid off at all. So I will have to use my palette in a second. And I think they do a really good range of colours. There's no silver and there's no gold in this package. It's just all of these matte colours. So let's get... I'm going to get some of my, um, I've got a tester of canvas. Oh, it's right by me. If you know my channel by now, I do love using canvas. What I might do is I'll just squirt a little bit of colour onto the canvas here. Make sure that you guys can see. Like so. And then I'll just blend it in on the canvas. So I'm going to do all the fabric paints just so you can see here what they all look like. Just realizing that I do not have, oh no, I do. Sorry, guys. So you just get a piece of kitchen towel here. So the white is actually, is pretty good. Shows up pretty well on this. And this here. And I like to do swatches of all the colors so you can see how 
the colours turn out on the canvas. Now I do have two other sets of fabric paints that I like and these are in addition to that. Shows up pretty well on the camera actually. I'll put these to one side so I know I've so I've used them. Let's see if so these fabric paints, it says that they're good for t-shirts, fabric designs, cards, scrapbooking, ideal for application to paper and wood, ceramic, canvas, glass, and more. Use directly from the bottle or use a brush to apply. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. And the paints are permanent and non-toxic. So if that is something that you are looking for in a fabric paint, then these are the paints for you. I actually quite like how they're going on and a little bit later I will, I've got a flower all drawn out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint a flower. Not quite sure yet what color. I like how easy this is, it comes out of the bottle actually, rather than just having, because the other ones I've got are in like a little pot and you have to pour the fabric paint out. And you sometimes like, you waste a little bit. So I like the fact that you can control the amount of fabric paint that comes out of these. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute, there is a gold. This is the gold. I don't think there was a gold. That's nice. Got a little bit of blue in here. Wash my paint brush too well. That is a nice gold. It's just kind of shimmery. Let me know if you're thinking about getting these fabric paints or if you've actually got them. Let me know in the comments down below. And I am also a YouTube channel with over 300 YouTube videos. I do videos on quilting and sewing. I've just been getting into doing some landscape quilting just recently. That's been fun. Oh, this is a nice color. What colour does that say? It says it's a scarlet red, but it's coming out more like a, like a, like a dusky terracotta pink colour. And on there it looks a bit more red, but it's actually orange. And also the fabric that you use, it may come out slightly different. Present, right? Oh, this is a nice red. <laughs> I 
Here's the pink shirt and white for pink. It's kind of thrown to my table, but I'm not worried. I can that will wipe us. I do actually have a white board over here that I should have used before I started painting. Just protect my work surface, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't mark your table. I did my flower pink and I went up to it. I don't do this. I do the blue flowers. Blues are very nice. Keep the blues to one second, I'm going to do, do my flower boy. It's nice to have a swatch, like with your fabric paints, and then you know exactly what colours are going to come out of the ball. I know you can see on the outside, but sometimes they just come out a little bit different. So it's good just to have like a, a swatch all created. It's a nice cream. So at least at the end of this, you can see if it gets out of furniture, because I have it all over my table. But I'm quite confident it'll come out. And before we do the next sample, I'll make sure I'm doing it on my whiteboard. This is a nice green.
So that was interesting. There was a gold, but there was no, there was no silver. Like I said, I do have some other paints that have them colours in, so I'm not, not too bothered. But if you were wanting that, then these paints don't have the gold. Well, they have the gold, but they just don't have the silver. Sorry, I'm black on my paintbrush still, honestly. So that is the yellow. Okay, okay, I'm going to get these all back in the box. And I'm going to keep the blue and the white out. Now I'm going to paint on, on cotton fabric. We clean the work surface because that's what I've done to it. But the fabric paints they should they should come out. How is everybody's Christmas going? It did, it came straight out. All I did was sprayed some of this sky on it and just had a, a kitchen towel and a little bit of elbow grease and then fabric paints have come straight out. Okie dokie, let's try on. First of all, let's get our cardboard towel. An outline of our flower here and I may actually just get some nice clean water here See what these paintbrushes are like. I'm going to use a palette as well. And I'm just going to put some of this, this blue in. I do like the fact that I can put as much or as little as I want in. And I do like to water it down a little bit when I put it on my so now I'm just painting on cotton. And I don't really care if I go over the lines because later on I will just cut my flower out anyway. 
So, not very bothered. Just go in, do some of this pal. And then what I like to do is just drag it through because it kind of like bleeds into the fabric and it just makes that a little bit lighter. Fabric painting isn't rocket science. And you just add more or little as you go. And like I said, I cut mine out. So if you're not cutting it out, have you seen that you would get a load of bleed here? So you would want to use some sort of fabric medium. And the fabric medium that I use is from a company called Golden. And I'm not, I'm not paid or sponsored to say that either. It's just a fabric medium that I, I personally like to use. So I'll show you here what that one is. And this fabric medium will turn any acrylic paint into a fabric paint. However, if you use acrylic paint, what you're gonna find is, is it dries really like thick and tough. But when you use these fabric paints and they dry, um, they end up being still very soft and they have a lot of movement. You won't get that from acrylic paints. I'll just turn this around. So we get some light down here. So this is like a whiteboard that I found from the dollar store. So it cleans off very easily. It kind of gives like a watercolor effect how I'm painting. And that depends on the look that you want to go for also. Well, that is the kind of look I am going for with my particular design. So you could do all this color, or you could do it like I'm doing and just put in your brush and apply the paint. And I'll show you here, sometimes I'll put water all over the petal first. And that gives it kind of like a base. So then when you put your fabric paint on the cotton, it will automatically just like take. So it's not as hard to apply the fabric paints on. And then you can drag that paint through. And this, this is just the first layer of paint that I'm applying. 
I'll be going in with another colour blue. And then also I'll be going in with thread as well when I actually applique this onto a quilt. <clears throat> I'm just going to apply some more oh, colour blue. I do like the um, putting the water on first and then applying the fabric on after. Going all in with your water, and then you just get your paint, and then you apply. And you don't have to be perfect with it, it's actually best not to be, just be a bit, a bit messy. And just pull that colour through to the bottom because flowers have different tones on them so you want to move that in And then come in with and what I did do yesterday when I was doing some flowers was in order to make this dry quicker, I got my hair dryer out. I'm going to give it a quick dry with the hairdryer. If I do that on here, it's going to end up creating a load of noise. So what I'm going to do is... <clears throat> and see if that second blue will take on one of them first petals that I did. So again, I just put a little bit of blue onto this palette. I'm just gonna make it a bit more wet. And then we can just like, I find this really fun to do. Flowers are very irregular with the colours. I can see if I can put a piece of this. Over there. 
to dry it a little bit while we're on camera. And then what you can do is get my brushes here. You can start them playing it with um some like some blue wires. Then just wet them in again. So it's a bit. Hold through. Just get some white here. And then I just have a wet brush, just I do need to put some yellow on there and I don't know how successful it's going to be because I haven't let it dry. I really should let it dry before I do this. And I just blocked this arm straight away. some white in there as well. And then just pull through. I just want to define my petals again.
So what do you think of these fabric paints? I do, I do like them. But I found that the other brand that I have a lot more blendable. I can't describe it. But I do like how these show up on canvas. So it just goes to show the different paints are good for different things. I need some more here. I'm going to cut that out and I'll, and I'll place it on my community post tomorrow so you can see how it dried out and looks. Because you really can't get an overall tell on the overall look until it's actually fully dried. So we go, these are the Castle Arts 3D fabric paints. Are you thinking of buying any fabric paints? I would honestly just like buy a few packs because in my experience, they seem to all be good for different things. This is how this one looks. So this is the Castle Arts 24 3D fabric paints. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I have over 300 sewing and quilting videos on my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.